Yo bro them, uh, welcome to today's video and uh, today we are doing a hero guide that I don't see much of on YouTube kind of search around it's not really there and um, it's the only one Kenobi hero guide so yeah I'm going to take these glasses off I'm sure I'm going to but when I put them on I am man them them Anyways, let's get right into today's video and we'll start off with the base stats. So, let's start off with the most important thing, health, wealth, it is what it is. So, Mandem Kenobi, 750 health to start off with, pretty high if you ask me. fuck is that B doing? <laughs> Fucking idiot. Regen at this base, 300 innit? And then forwards ability, if you hit him from front, 130. From behind, 150. Kenobi, the man then can do 10 attacks before running out of his stamina tings. And 25 blocks from a sabre before he runs out. But with blasters, yeah, 46 blocks before he runs out. So I'd give it about a 9 out of 10. Because his attack could be a bit more, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, he can regen his stamina from empty to full in 3 seconds. After a three second delay. Yeah. So, we've got that out of the way. Let's get on to the ability, shall we? Mandem. So, push. What can we say about this? Uh, you can do from 170 to 200. 170 if you just press LB. Uh, 200 if you fully charge it. To non heroes. But to the heroes, you can do 150 to 180. So, it is, it is what it is. Uh, just 14 seconds cooldown. Uh, good thing about this is that it can knock down your uh, enemies, so it's kind of easy to capitalise on it afterwards. But kind of a con of it is that it has a long animation, but you can kind of reverse that with a pro that has 8% damage reduction. So, yeah, that's push. We'll go to rush now, which is a 10 second cooldown, 140 damage. You won't be able to kill anyone with it, like the base classes, but you'll severely damage them. And. With a certain card, you'll be able to one shot everyone, but they're heavy, so. But, a pro of this is that it's a great ability. You can't be attacked by same heroes, you deflect blaster bolts. And if I'm being honest, there's no cons to this one, because it's kind of like Obi Wan's best ability, in my opinion. But, his mind trick is 21 second cooldown. It could be used with the duration of the mind trick 5.5 seconds. Now, if I'm being honest. A pro is that it can stop you from using your abilities, but a con, this wouldn't have been like this if it was two years ago, or one and a half years ago. Obi-Wan, well now people are affected by Obi-Wan's mind trick, they, how do I say it, they, can't, they can still use their dodge, which I feel like a dodge is more important than abilities, because it gives you an easier access to get away from the fight. So, if it's all like Dooku, the mind trick will not really affect you. So with the abilities out of the way, let's get on to the star card loadouts and general tips. So we're now on to the big man things with GA and Supremacy. Star cards I use in these are Jedi Resilience, which gives you a uh, hundred extra health regen, which will put it up from three hundred to four hundred in it. Uh, Perfect Defense will give you a forty percent stamina increase for blocking. Sick. Yeah, makes everyone even more harder to get past, which would increase his thing by ten. He'd have from twenty-five to thirty-five blocks in that, which is mad. And then forty-six. That's about another. I can't be asked. <coughs> but sick card. Helps you out in it. And then, final card that I use is what I was just talking about with the rush. Uh, forward. 40% increased uh, increased damage, puts up to 180. Kev one but the heavy. Sick in it. Um, reason I use these cards is because they really mesh together well. It's one of the best loadouts. Obviously, with these loadouts, it's kind of my opinion with it, but I feel like generally this is kind of the best Obi Wan mesh of Supremacy. But, I mean, obviously you have cards like Safeguard, and also, if I'm not wrong, 
what's the name of this mandem card um, think it over could be a good one as well increase the duration but I feel like with Obi-Wan especially GS Supremacy because how long it takes for you to kill someone I don't feel like you really need the increase so the best maps for Obi-Wan on GA I would say are Death Star 2, Kamino and Naboo uh, bit more open maps uh, some close quarters so it's kind of like a mixture and Obi-Wan does really well in all categories Mandem and then for HVV couple of things change here I've got perfect defence forward and safeguard in it so I've got these meshed together and it's unstoppable especially if you're in HVV it's kind of you can really build it up well because you just need to kill I think 8 people to get it that's pretty easy in, H in Hero Showdown I would change it to uh, Perfect Defence uh, Jedi Resilience and if I'm being honest I would put it to uh, Quick and Focus or Safeguard because I feel like you kind of need them but with what is it now? With safeguard, you kind of build it up easily because you just need to hit someone twice to get it up by 2%. If you're in a very long fight against someone, like, say, like Vader, because them two are really butt heads a lot and the fights never end with them two. It is what it is, isn't it? So, for the characters that I would be aware of, I put Dooku and Kylo. The reason I put Vader is because you don't really need to be aware of him. It's just the fact that he is so balanced against Obi-Wan. But with Dooku, very offensive. The opposite of Obi-Wan can really get in your face. And the best way to counter Dooku is to make him go the defence whilst you're on the offence. And with Kylo, he's just a very sneaky person. The freeze, very deadly. Especially in HVV, if he freezes you, that's like 2.5 seconds. Um, especially if you have someone like Aiden shooting at you with the Bantam Tings uh, it's very effective and you could, you pretty much deplete your stamina so if you think Aiden's stun lasts long wait until you see Kylo's freeze with Aiden there it's messed up uh, yeah and also Kylo's frenzy can get through everyone's block which is what you need for a saber villain that's why Vader is also good at Vader and Maul are okay at getting through Obi-Wan's block and also Grievous' Frost Surge um, one of the mates have a way of getting past blocks with Frost Surge you just need to I, I'm not going to tell you actually because I, I don't want to ruin any secrets but that is my Obi-Wan Hero Guide so I hope you all enjoyed please make sure you hit like, subscribe uh, more Hero Guides coming your way and little teaser there you go but Mandem is out and Sherlock Holmes back. So thank you all so much for watching. A uh, bit rushed, I know, but it is what it is, isn't it? But I wanted to do more hero guides and also more stuff with Battlefront 2 before I leave the game forever. I want to get everything I wanted out of the way and then leave it. So hero guides, I'm going to be doing hero rankings, reinforcement rankings. Uh, I'm also going to be doing map rankings for HVV, Supremacy and Blast. Um, I'm also going to be doing um, gameplay with some of my mates uh, when we play so that's going to be cool and yeah I uh, hope you all enjoyed the video now I'll bring it back to the mandem for the final things yeah. so my friends you see me, I see you you get out of here, I stay here see you in a bit, bye bye peace back brothers